Got your back against the wall, no, you know you never had a chance. Should've known better, now you better make other players. There's no going back, gotta let you know in advance. This is Game Squad. How's it going, YouTube? This is Joe Grizz from the Team Avalanche Worldwide YouTuber, and I'm here with my boy, Mr. Popo, from Mr. Popo TV. I know you know He's gonna give me a profile on the very first Niklo deck of the format. I don't know who else got this deck, but he got it. Day of release, he got the whole deck. Day of release, within three hours, paid the total of $60. Total, <laughs> like literally. <laughs> oh yeah. But, um, and uh, thank you, uh, thank to Lewis for letting right him use the mat. For him use the mat. Top eight. You um, know. <laughs> so I guess we will get to the list. Yeah, we'll get to the list. Uh, <laughs> real quick. So as I've, everyone's done their research, most people run two. I run three. Valkyrius, you guys already know what this does. Stops the battle phase, and it's a plus card. With the card that everyone's killing themselves and their mothers for, Brionic. <laughs> literally, I pulled three of these in two boxes. So that's, you know, you can't get any more plus than that. Um, three Unicorn, a standard, two Colossus. A lot of people play one. I like one as well, but I'm testing out two. One, Trishula, if you play three, you are a bad player. I do not care. You are bad. Um, and it's not the focal part of the deck. It's just a power card. Uh, one Gunnir, you know, for the Digin lock. One uh, Decisive Armor. A lot of people decide not to play this, but you'll see why you need to play it in the future. Uh, three Manjus, the super ones that came in the next set. Uh, three Senjus, it helps with the percentages to basically get the Dungeon Lock. Um, two of the, what's this, the Strategist now? He's a Strategist. One Dance Princess, this card is going to save your life a lot of times. Either this or the Archmage. This and Decisive Armor gets over the Dungeon Lock, unless they don't have Gun Gear. This also gets over Nat Beast. Nat Beast can't do, you know, anything while this is on the field. So you can, you know, get off your rituals for those of them out there. Uh, decisive Armor helps also get over Towers, but you need a Valkyrius to get over it, pretty much. And, of course, the one Dungeon for the Dungeon Lock. Um, onto the spells. Three preparations of rights, you guys already know. Three Mystical Space Typhoons. It depends on the player. Um, if you're playing Necros, I believe that you gotta build for one deck and then side for the, for the other two. Um, you know, just when I played Evils back in the day, so you have to main, you know, your focus should be beating one deck. And my focus is beating Crowforts, even though, you know, three embassies might not be enough, but it is our worst matchup. Two Dark Holes and Regeki, this is just for the mirror. Um, I, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna lose the first turn Digin, so. I'm just saying, it hurts too or much. Dark or Dark Law. Or Dark, dark Law. Yeah, that's not happening. I mean, dark um, two of each ritual. Um, I really do like three, but I'm, I, I want, I'll stick with two for now of each because it's more consistent. One Book of Moon, Dark Law, you suck. Uh, one Book of Eclipse, just for the mirror and for Dark Law, like that card, I just hate Dark Law, period. Uh, but this card gets around everything in the in the mirror matchup, so <laughs> they can't Trishula you and they can't um, gun near you, so this card just gets over everything. Um, that's for Dark Law again, you know, Snatch Still, and for good measures, just to use Snatch Still one more time. Uh, and that's pretty much the main deck itself. Armory, armory. Uh, I do. I'm not hitting yeah. Armory, yeah, I do like two hitter armories. I'm testing it out so far, so good. Um, just know that it doesn't stop the dungeon lock. However, you're able to snatch still <laughs> the the monster that has been dungeon and then ram it into the lava chain, pretty much, and that gets rid of it. And then you can shoot him because now you're gonna be no longer in dungeon lock. Uh, shooting star dragon. I mean quasar. Uh, star eater. Shooting star dragon. Um, two heralds. Then you have Lava Chain. This overhyped card, yes, while it is overhyped, <laughs> uh, and it's $50 for no apparent reason, um, the reason why it's in this deck is because it's just one of those plays that if you have it, then go for it. Only if you know your opponent's gonna have less than 57,000 life points. Because, I mean, yeah, pretty much. 5,700 life points, because that's the only way that, you know, that you'll probably kill your opponent. Um, but other than that, it's you know you have to overextend for it. Then you have the Gaia, you have Casto, Diamond Dire Wolf, uh, they go to Emerald, Abyss uh, Dweller, Gaga Gaga Cowboy, Evil Swarm, Exiton Knight, and yes, this card. Um, because Kanagoran, along with the Dungeon Lock monster, if you get it to that, if you get to that uh, play, uh, you have stuff like Wing Blast or Geki Break, um, Karma Cut that. Um, you know, burning a bit like to run for the trap version, but you know, just equip it, make sure he banishes himself, and then he can continue to go off. Um, and uh, if if you guys don't run this, then you should run 
um, other cards such as probably Ragnar Zero or the monster that um, banishes two monsters from your opponent's graveyard, two cards from your opponent's graveyard. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that card. But um, that's pretty much it. The side deck is still a working piece. You might want to side deck um, Fire Hands, Ice Hands, Kaikus, of course, for the mirror matchup. And that's pretty much all it is right now to this build. Um, yeah. Sir, that is pretty much it. First How many advantages? Deck. I'll go for me. I'll go with this. Yeah, Bliss for me. Shout to Lewis again for the match. Shout out to Lewis again. And, and yeah. with that said, you guys know it. Nobody can be God, but everybody has the potential to be God-like. I'm Popo Miss Popo TV. If you guys like K-pop, um, go ahead and check out my K-pop channel. There's gonna be a lot of cute girls there as well. So there will be a link in the description, so you can go holla at him and his fine females. <laughs> Later, back to the profile. And this is Joe Grizz signing out. Later, guys. <laughs> Please stay connected with me by adding me on all my social networks on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Just copy the link into your search bar and add. Thank you.